So today we're going to show you how you can get set up with your ASP32 and an FTP server as shown here. So we can see our client is writing a file up to our FTP server as shown on the right from our ASP32 board. So data logging without having to store it locally. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy this video for further videos and feature updates in the Visual Micro product. So first you're going to need to set up your FTP server. So if you go to the FileZilla URL, which is also in the description, and then download the Windows version of the FileZilla server to your computer. And then we can simply run this once it's downloaded and run through the installation process as shown here. Obviously change any installation paths to suit your setup. Do pay attention that it's installed as a service just so it's always available and ensure you choose a port that you're happy with for the admin interface to run on. This isn't the FTP client port. So if we just finish off this installation process that will set up the FileZilla server on our computer which allows our computer to run an FTP server. So now that's done, the software's run, we can change the name of the host and the admin port here as well and do enter an administration password. So once that's done we'll need to go and configure the users. So as mine is behind in that router it's saying further settings are needed if you want to access it from outside of the current network. So if you just go to edit users we can go and add another user account as we've already got one set up so give it a name and then if you check the password box and enter a, a simple password for your board to use and that's all we need for the user themselves we'll just need to then set a shared folder so this will be the root folder essentially for that user when they connect to the FTP server so here we're just going to use a USB pen as an example and you'll also need to ensure you click the write and append options for files just to ensure that you can actually write the files from your ESP32 board. So if we just then press OK, those settings have now been saved. And we'll just need to enter the same settings into our sketch here. And we'll show how to set up this sketch in a moment. So if we just load Visual Studio and then go to the Visual Micro menu, we can select the board that we wish to use and open the Visual Micro Explorer as shown here. Now we're using the ESP32 FTP client library and within that there are some examples to show you how to get started with the library. So if we just expand this node, we can try the upload image example. So if we just click on example name and press open copy we'll have our, our own copy of this example that we can edit so as we said a moment ago all we'll need to do is edit the Wi-Fi information and the FTP information and obviously the FTP server is the IP address or host name of the machine that you've just set up FileZilla on and then there's some examples on how you can change directory so I would need to change this for my personal setup as well as examples of how you can write different types of files as well as append to files so now you can do all your data logging up to an FTP server instead of having to save it all onto your ESP32 device which of course would be useful if the server is not available you could then buffer it to the device and flush it back to the server later so you just need to select your COM port and then build and upload as normal to your board once all your settings have been entered. And you should end up with the sketch serial output is on the left and the, the output from FileZilla is on the right. If you do suffer any issues trying to get this to work, check your firewall has port 21 open or disable it temporarily to prove that that's the problem. And we can also see the actual data that we've had written from a, a, a different example of sign values. 